Welcome to this video tutorial on the subject of image catalogs and rescanning a preparation in the case of a single tooth restoration. In this video, you will get to know the various image catalogs in the acquisition phase and will demonstrate the process of rescanning if the remaining tooth substance has to be prepared again. We have already created a patient case and selected the restoration type, design mode, material, and the milling and grinding unit in the administration phase. In our case, we have a single tooth restoration at position 3.5. As of CEREC software version 4.6, you have three options available for selection under design mode. Biogeneric individual is used to produce a patient individual restoration based on the morphology of the neighboring teeth. Biogeneric copy copies the tooth scanned before preparation. The copy and mirror option produces an individual restoration based on a reference tooth. As a general rule, we recommend copy and mirror particularly for anterior tooth restorations. If, for example, the anterior tooth that needs to be replaced has a very individual shape. Depending on which option you select here, in the next phase, the acquisition phase, a corresponding number of image catalogs appear, which you must acquire. In our case, we've chosen the biogeneric individual design mode and switched to the acquisition phase by clicking on the double arrow. In this phase, we will first of all take a look at the selection of image catalogs applying to our case and then describe the remaining image catalogs, which can be added by clicking on the respective option. As we've selected the biogeneric individual design mode in the administration phase, three image catalogs appear at the lower edge of the screen. The lower jaw image catalog, which is framed in yellow and therefore active, is also marked with an exclamation point, which means that it is an obligatory acquisition. In addition to this, you'll find the upper jaw and buckle bite image catalogs. Through the side palette, we have opened the Add Catalog option, and we'll now look at this in more detail from top to bottom. The two image catalogs, Gingiva Mask Lower and Upper, are described in our tutorial, Image Catalogs in the Case of an Implant Restoration. The Biocopy Lower and Upper image catalogs are automatically added when the Biogeneric Copy Design Mode was selected in the administration phase. These image catalogs are used in order to acquire the morphology of the tooth to be replaced prior to preparation or extraction. The scan body lower and upper image catalogs are not required for restorations such as crowns, inlays, and bridges, and these are presented in greater detail in the previously mentioned tutorial. Before starting to scan, we will close the window Add Catalogs and move ahead and show you the image catalogs including completed scans. As you can see, each image catalog includes a scan, so we can switch to the next phase, the model phase, in order to delve into the topic of subsequent scanning in more detail. As the CEREC software 4.6 automatically calculates all steps in the model phase, and we aren't making any corrections, we then switch directly to the design phase. Let's assume that now, in the design phase, you realize that the gap between the prepared tooth and the antagonist is insufficient, and that the minimum thickness of the material is undershot after removing the strong occlusal contact points indicated in red. In this case, you have the option to re-prepare the tooth in question in the patient's mouth, and to return to the acquisition phase, even though catalogs were already calculated, in order to acquire the new situation. The image data will be replaced automatically without deleting the data of the existing catalog. To do this, we click on Acquisition in the Phase Bar. The CEREC software draws your attention to the fact that the virtual models have already been created for this case, and the image catalogs are therefore locked. We'll confirm with OK and then click on Unlock. All image catalogs are now unlocked. As already mentioned, with the CEREC software 4.6, you do not need to delete the affected image catalog. Simply ensure that you have selected the correct image catalog 
and then scan over the reprepared tooth substance. The software now overwrites and automatically recalculates the modified areas. In order to recalculate the restoration, we now switch to the model phase once again. Make sure that the preparation margin has been redefined by the software and proceed directly to the design phase by clicking on the double arrow. Based on the new image data, the CEREC software has now calculated a new initial design proposal, as shown here. By re-preparing the tooth substance, we have gained a sufficient gap to the antagonist, meaning that the occlusal contacts are shown with optimum thickness. Thank you very much for your attention. We would like to wish you every success when working with CEREC.